Hello students, welcome to iExam Bay. In today's video, we will study about the classification of crops, concepts related to it as well as the MCQs. Now, the classification can be on several bases. So here we will study first of all on the basis of season. On the basis of season, the crops can be classified into three. First one is the Kharif, next is the Rabi and the third one is Zayed. Now what are Kharif crops? The Kharif crops mainly we can say the crops which are grown in the rainy season or the monsoon crops are the Kharif crops. This word Kharif in Arabic means autumn while the crops are known by the name as monsoon crops. Now this Ravi crops, Ravi crops are mainly the winter crops, crops which are grown in the winter season and Zayed crops are the summer crops. Okay. So why they are known as the monsoon crops? Because their sowing is mainly done in the monsoon time, like mainly during the June and July period. So that's why they are known as the monsoon crops. We, we are very familiar with the one crop which is widely grown all over the country that is rice. Rice is a example, rice is an example of kharif crop. Okay, so there are several crops which comes under it. These are maize, soya bean, rice, that is paddy, sorghum, groundnut, cotton. These crops are all grown in the month of June and July. The sowing is done in this time and then they are harvested somewhere you can calculate around uh, 3 to 4 months later that is during the month of September, October. So these crops are known as monsoon crops and these are the examples. The Rabi crops term se clear hai that Rabi. Now this Rabi term in Arabic means spring. Ravi crops are those which are sown in the month of October to November. That's why they are known as the winter crops. Mostly they can be seen grown uh, in the fields. They can be seen in the fields during the time winter time. So they are known as Ravi and they are harvested in the month of February, March. Means you can calculate from four months from this period. So their harvesting is done during February, March. The example of this is wheat, chickpea, pea and mustard. Now this chickpea we all know that is gram, pea, jisko hum matar kehte hai, mustard yani sarso. Ab ab yahan dekh sakte ho, you can see here this is a field of mustard crop. Okay, and the mustard crop comes under rabi crops. Okay, the meaning of rabi is a spring in Arabic. Now the third one is the zayed. Zayed that means summer and also these crops are known as summer crops. Why? Because they are sown in summer time that is in the March and are harvested in May. So these are short duration crops mainly the cucurbits you know that the crops which are of uh, cold nature means they ab hum ise normal language mein bolte hai ki ye aapke thandak pahunchati hai so isliye inko hum log summer crops kehte hai the examples are mainly cucurbits like watermelon, muskmelon, bitter gourd, the gourds as well as the strawberry, guar, these are the examples of Zayed crop. Question is very easy, hai. crops ke naam de dete hai, poochte hai, in mein se Zayed kaun hai. Match the following de denge, poochhenge, in ko correctly match kijiye. Ya in mein se kaun incorrectly match hai. So these are the questions that are asked in the exam. Now here, this is a column wise distribution, the Kharif, Rabi and Zayed. We all know Kharif crop is the monsoon one, Rabi is the winter and Zayed is the summer crop. Why these crops? These crops require high water for their growth, for their cultivation. Generally, the timing is from July to October. The Rabi cross mainly it is from October to February and Zayed it is from March to June, May, June. Okay. So, Kharif crops, the example are rice, maize, juar, bajra, swabin. From this figure, it is clear this is the field of rice. Okay. This is maize. This one is the swabin. This is groundnut, cotton. And here it is Moong. So these all are the Kharif crops. The Rabi crops are wheat, barley, gram, peas and mustard. This is wheat, this is pea, this is gram. And what is this? This is DDLJ. No, this is actually mustard field. Here we are mainly focusing on mustard, not the actor and actresses. Okay. And the Zayed crop, Zayed crop mainly include cucumber, watermelon and muskmelon. All the vegetables, certain vegetables, fodder crops. Like uh, and also strawberries are included in Zayed crop. Now the next classification is on the basis of botany. So on the basis of botany, the crops can be classified into cereals, pulse, or millets. 
Cereal pulse millets and further classification is also there but the cereal crops are those that belong to the family graminae. The pulses belong to the leguminaceae family. Millets. Millets are generally minor cereals which are usually grown in rain fed or arid region because of the water scarcity. That's why as millet requires less water so they are generally grown as an alternative to cereals in certain regions and they are minor cereals like the foxtail millet and several millets are there like uh, Jwar, Bajra, Pearl Millet, these are also certain kind of millet crops. Now the pulse crops examples are Pigeon Pea, Chickpea, Lentil, Moong Bean, Urd Bean etc. These all belong to the family Leguminaceae, remember that and they can be grown in both the seasons. Now cereal crops as we have studied here, this Chickpea is a Rabi crop. Now in the cereal crops these belongs to the these are the grasses which are generally grown for edib edible purposes like wheat, rice, sugarcane, maize, jowar and certain others. Okay, so they come under the cereal crops. Next one is the edible oil seed which are mainly grown for their oil content means they are used for extracting oil like the groundnut, mustard, rape seed which provides 66% of the total oil seed production the groundnut and rape seed in India. Okay, so ma maximum is covered by these two only and these are the oil seed crops which are grown for their oil and the fiber crops fiber crops are generally for extracting the fiber like cotton jutes and hemp then the forage crops are used for animal feed forage okay forage crops or we can say fodder crops they are mainly known for animal feed like lucerne oats bursim etc sugar crops are mainly for sugar the sugar is extracted from these sugar crops the examples are sugar cane and sugar beet many these two crops are used for sugar extraction aromatic crops the essential oil aromatic compounds are extracted from these like lemongrass and mentha citronella we know we all know okay so aromatic crops wo hai jin mein khushbu hoti hai and unse aapko essential oil milti hai thik now the some of the questions which are asked like which of the following is a crop of zayat season in mein se zayat season ki kaun si crop hai aapke option hai mustard pumpkin soybean or maize correct answer is mein se kya hoga correct answer will be pumpkin we have studied zayat crops are the summer crops and mainly they include the cucurbits so pumpkin is one of them next one is wheat is cultivated in north indian states during dash cropping season aapke option hai kharif rabi zayat or none of these wheat generally aapka kab ugaya jata hai North Indian states mein, so that is mainly a rabi crop okay winter crop mustard and sesame are cultivated during dash cropping season kharif rabi zayed or both zayed and kharif again mustard and sesame both are rabi crop so the correct answer will be rabi which of the following belongs to millet group ragi maize bajra baja jowar ragi wheat jowar barley jowar rice and wheat Millets group ko kon belong karte hai? So the correct answer among this option will be Bajra, Jwar and Ragi. Let's see some of the millets. Here they are. Pearl millet, jo ki aapka Bajra ho gaya. Sorghum, that is Jwar. Finger millet, that is Ragi. Little and Proso millet, jisko hum Hindi mein Sama aur Chena bhi kehte hai. Thik hai? Foxtail millet, Kodo millet, brown top millet, barnyard millet, these are some other millets which is also certain names in Hindi so remember that this is known by kodu so these are all the types of millet, different types of millet any example, if you have any example in your column, then you can understand that these are all the millets maybe you don't write the millet in the column like sorghum in jowar bajra so you remember that, okay? next question is which of the following is legume fodder? The options are cowpea, fodder maize, fodder sorghum, barseem. So, in this you have given some combinations. 1 and 2, 1, 2 and 3, 2 and 3, 1 and 3 and 1 and 4. So, correct answer is which will be your answer? 1 and 4. That is option number E. Why? Because fodder maize and fodder sorghum are in fodder cereals. We have asked us to ask legume fodder. That is the fodder which belongs to the leguminacy family. So, that is cowpea and barseem among the options given. Okay? This is a table where we can see the big classification, detailed classification. These are the fodder grasses, these are the fodder legumes, these are the fodder cereals and these are the fodder trees and shrubs. So these are all the examples. Also you can join, you can grab this opportunity by using the code NAP50. There is live classes, regular 24-7 mentoring, 
Stuff notes are PDF. Also, you will get interview gu guidance in our course. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to like and subscribe our channel if you like the content of the video.